I always had a problem with focus and getting into programming flow. So I built an app to fix that. And I will tell you what exactly I built and how I did that in just seven days, but we should start with why. I was daydreaming in school and had very average grades, but somehow I got around it, finished high school and even got a university degree in computer science. So, but I don't know. It was always hard for me to focus on what I'm learning. I barely learning and I just was doing what is necessary to get through school, get diploma, get grades and so on. So far I switched about 10 different professions. I was a carpenter, I was a soldier, I was policeman, I was bartender, I was technical field engineer, project manager, then head of products, then freelance iOS developer, then whatever. No, I don't know who I am. Influencer? <laughs> also I'm building my own applications, I'm building a paid community for indie app developers and so on. That's me in police, that's me as a bartender. And yeah, luckily for me, there is not so many photos from me in my 20s. <laughs> you just have to believe me. I was good at all of those jobs, but as soon as I got comfortable, it becomes boring and I'm, I don't know, I'm switching jobs quite often, as you may see. My friend Danish said that I should go and do ADHD test. He is diagnosed and he's saying that I have all the signs and basically I should do the test and start to take some medications to get rid of those symptoms, you know, kind of problems with focus, all of the jazz. But I don't really want to do that. Yes, I have problems focusing on one boring thing and I'm switching my focus often but this comes also with, together with creativity and sometimes with some fun hyper-focus side effects. For example, I just jumped into research of communities and basically how to build them and so on and started one. I don't know if I will do that if I don't have this, you know, kind of running around focus and hyperfixation on some things which are not important at this moment. Sometimes that helps, but sometimes <laughs> that doesn't help at all. For example, that is one of the distractions and side quests. That's my gaming PC. I did research, I was looking for best computer parts for months or more. Ordered them, put it together and guess how often I'm playing games. I played few games and currently that is my streaming machine when I'm streaming on Twitch. And yeah, that's Spotify player. That's it, basically all my use cases. Another example, this spring I started to think about spending winter in Thailand and not just thinking, but I already researched visa options, uh, renting options, neighborhoods where to live, schools for kids and I even installed application to learn Thai. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. I can go deep into those research rabbit holes for no good reason. So no, I'm not diagnosed, but I have all the ADHD signs. So I decided to build app to solve my problem and every mobile app project should start with problem to solve. And yeah, this is my problem. My problem is getting into programming flow. I can't just time block my day. I'm getting around in my life by doing the most important thing first in the morning because my brain is like time blind, but I can organize my work in sequences. For example, I go for dog walk, then I exercise, then I work on my indie apps, then I'm switching to freelancing projects and working my freelancing hours. But there always is a risk finding yourself at 4 p.m. still doing some quick YouTube research on some side quest like Thailand visa changes. I need a constant reminder about the time and running timers could help with that. Also, I need to get into the right mood for programming. So I decided to build an app to help myself and to make it more fun or hard. <laughs> I did that as a seven day challenge. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw daily updates, but in short, 
first day was mostly research and ideation. I was looking for similar apps and I created like a mood board or design examples, basically. Basically, I was looking for similar applications in the App Store and sketched few first version of user interface, how I see how this application could look. And days two to six were mostly programming and creating content to promote the app. That was part of the challenge, build and promote app every day. And of course I used AI to move faster. I could not build so fast without help of that. Basically I started with app idea and I started with discussion with uh, ChatGPT. Here it is. Basically I just kind of brainstormed my idea, what I would like to build. I even got some user interface, but generally I got project overview document, some user interface details, and then I dropped this project overview doc document into the cursor. Basically, I have here my project requirements. That helps a lot for cursor to kind of, uh, to have it as a reference, to remind to cursor basically what we, are, what we are building, why we are building, what basically stuff like that. And then I just ask it for cursor, okay, enter architecture mode and analyze current plan and prepare kind of implementation. Here we got implementation details and we are already starting to work on the project. There is some communication errors, <laughs> uh, building and so on. And yeah, here some middle stage, basically we are already checking out oh, that is done and so on. So if you will just write to cursor, build meditation up for me, you will get very bad result. If you will define project requirements, you will get better result already. And I always also kind of asking cursor or AI, before we are building something, I'm just asking to write down requirements. Okay, we need to test the project and then write down what we will test. And then I'm kind of have discussion what to test, what not to test and so on. Posting progress publicly gave me accountability and feedback. The app is something in the middle between meditation apps and Pomodoro timers. Basically, you are jumping onto the quick breathing session. That helps to get into the mood. Regular meditation apps are quite boring and I just start daydreaming when I'm trying to meditate. So it doesn't work for me, but quick session, minute or two for box breathing helps because I still have to follow the instructions from the application timer and that's short enough to basically do that. When the breathing session is ready, I can jump to the timer and start work session. And basically I'm choosing between programming, debugging, writing, whatever tasks, starting timer. And that helps me to stay on task and focus. On day six, I submitted my app in the app store and I got rejected. <laughs> but Apple just asked it to change the app name. Not a big deal. I changed it and submitted again. And we can see that in history. Here we can see that in the history, Apple rejected the application first, then I ag submitted again, then I rejected it. <laughs> and then after that, I released it. And currently, app is available in the app store for available for downloads. And it is already version 1.1 because I added few more few more features so app was approved on day seven and that is a win challenge was finished successfully i was posting every day that was tough and i was building up every day and i got it released with plenty of features and let's take a look on statistics so here are statistics for first uh, few weeks so app was released in april 7 so today is april 24 that first peak here is basically Apple pushing every each and every new application after release just to get initial downloads and so on. And after that, it fades out. And currently, we already see actually how how regular downloads will look like. So far, we got 233 app installs. We even got one sale. And uh, yeah, it's it's looking okay. I will not say it's something outstanding, but conversion rate is good, actually. I will keep fixing bugs and adding new features to the application, but at the current stage, it is already do all what I need. It helps me to stay on task and I can trick myself into sticking with it because I don't want to lose my streak. So I can track my, I can trick myself into the 
sticking with it and kind of working. So far it works. So far this application works for me. And if you have ADHD and problem with focus, maybe application like this or this exact application can help you as well. Would I do challenge like that with the next application that I will release? Yes, definitely yes. But here what I will do differently. I was almost burned out creating content and working on the app at so tight deadline. One week to get from IDEA to the app release is a bit extreme. And next time I will do that in three to four weeks, but not more than that as well. Uh, because without strong deadline, you can keep telling yourself forever that app is not ready yet and keep adding features and do not release it. So you need deadline and I think sweet spot is, is something like uh, three to five weeks max. Depends on project, but something like that. The second thing is content creation. Yes, it helps for marketing, but video editing takes a lot of time. And if you are like me and working full-time job, building apps aside and trying to create a personal brand, outsource video editing as soon as you can or keep it very simple, you know, just record something on iPhone and publish on socials and that's it. Do not, do not do fancy editings. Probably do not do YouTube videos. That's very time consuming. Or you can just stick with written content and photos or screenshots. Live streams, I do them sometimes, but they do not help much, I would say. Yes, marketing is very important and more is better, but you still need a time to build a product and without a product, <laughs> What's the point to go all in on marketing, right? The hardest part of indie development journey is to keep going and that can be a bit lonely. Especially if you got rejections from Apple and if you are burnt out by doing all those things, marketing, programming, day job, family, <laughs> everything, you know. So if you are looking for a community of developers to get help and feedback on your applications, come to Indie App Accelerator and build apps together with me and other indie devs. And yeah, check my app if you have a hard time focusing on programming. Links are in the description. Bye.